Good evening. It's Eurosports last evening in Germany. We're here in Berlin for a special five days in the snooker calendar. But it's been made all the more magical, I hope you can see it, by this almost apologetic sprinkling of snow that's been falling. And thanks to Mark Williams, we could be out of here tonight before this has a chance to even lie on the ground. Come with me, this is the temper drone. Yes, you've got the crucible, yes, you've got the alley pally, but this is right up there with any snooker venue in the world. Now, usually it would be Carmina Barana happening here. Usually it would be like Ringo Stars here in a couple of months from now. But let me tell you something. Happiness is a warm cue for Mark Williams this afternoon. 7-1 up. Remember, it's best of 17. It's a race to nine. So Graham Dot is really going to have to feed off the buzz of one of the greatest, most generous, loudest crowds in all of snooker. Now whisper it quietly as we stand in the darkness. I will prove to you just how amazing this place is with just a few words. Temper Drum, bring the noise! A good time, a long time, a short time, we don't know, but we love being here. And I'm sure they'll keep it going as I introduce... Eurosports, Holy Trinity, Neil Foles, Ronnie O'Sullivan, and Jimmy White! Well, we are ready, the temper drum is ready, and for Graham Dot, it really is a case of dream the impossible dream. He's got it all to do tonight after a magic Mark Williams this afternoon. That trophy, well, somewhere, they've already got a box to deliver this, registered to the Valleys of Wales, but it's not over yet. And Neil Foles, nothing's impossible, right? Nothing's impossible. Um, I go back to a Masters final where a Scotsman was 7-0 down and 1-9-8. The problem was it was Stephen Hendry, and that was 27 years ago. <laughs> but that, that's why we could have something amazing and special tonight. But there's a difference, isn't there? Because... Graham Dodd didn't do a huge amount wrong today. Ronnie, just run the rule over Mark Williams and the standard of snooker he produced this afternoon. Yeah, you, you probably couldn't play snooker any better, really. You know, whoever he'd been sitting in the other chair would have been behind, whether it had been 7 1, 6 2. You know, um, you can't, you know, his safety, his pot ends, break building, and just all round match play was just fantastic. You know, he was, he was in the zone, as they would say, you know. And some of these shots that you look at, it, it looks almost like we're running them, Jimmy, in slow motion. We're not. He just trickles them up and they say, he's a master. Yeah, he's got a fantastic touch. Mm. Here he pots the a red into the yellow pocket. Just enough pace for him to reach. He doesn't hit anything hard. This was our shot we played. It's a brilliant shot, a swerve pot. And here, another thin shot. See, when you're playing well, these shots that you get sort of two in ten he's getting them like ten out of ten at the moment great stuff by williams look at this shot Neil. yeah he's letting the cue ball run around you know he's just floating around the table floating balls into pockets and you wouldn't know he was doing anything more than practicing in his local club he looks ice cool ronnie you know we're we're talking a 20th ranking title if he wins it tonight from Mark Williams, mm. but there was a stage 18 months ago, two years ago, where he was having a serious discussion mm. with his wife about quitting forever. It's a remarkable resurrection. All snooker players say they're going to quit when they're going through bad phases. You know, um, <laughs> you'd never you do, do that. Well, you just how you feel in the moment, you know, and especially if you've had a couple of years where you ain't really been doing much, because it's hard. You know, a lot of people see you here playing in front of a packed crowd and they go, "Oh, it's such a lovely job," but actually, you know, you're the work starts in the snooker club. You put got to put the three, four hours a day in, and if you're struggling, you know, some days you just go home, you just want to kick the cat, and you just think, "Oh, mate," you know, um, and it's tough, you know, and um, and that's why you sometimes feel like that, you know, and uh, you know, but obviously now he just wants to keep playing for as much as he can because it's, it's the yin and yang of, of the snooker uh, life, if you like. There was such a, a murmur there. It's good to know "kick the cat" translates to a German audience. <laughs> I love that. We must just do that all over the world when things are hard going wrong metaphorically of of course jimmy i want to pay tribute to graham dot and the week that he's had and this is no eulogy because it's not over yet three nil down to barry hawkins four nil down to Zhao gadong was anybody here when graham dot came back against Zhao gadong right 
Ronnie said earlier he sticks to you like glue and if he loses tonight it won't be for a lack of God's determination and talent. Absolutely, you know, and Graham Dot has been saying in his press conferences that he's playing really well but he keeps getting beat in the top last 32 and the last 16. This week he showed how well he's playing. Unfortunately for him he's come up against a Mark Williams who's flying on all cylinders and there's not a lot that Graham Dot's done wrong. Mark Williams has just been brilliant. There's loads of interest and dynamics here, but the, the long and the short of it is, Neil, he has to go and beat Mark Williams the way he's playing 8-1. Yeah. I don't, I don't think in his own mind he believes that can happen, but all you can do is just see how you get on tonight. You know, don't get too far ahead of yourself. Win a frame, win another frame, and maybe the big crowd will get behind him because, um, you know, they support the game and want to see it go a long way. But Ethan, whatever happens, he had a great week, you know. He didn't have much luck this afternoon, I felt. You know, one of, mm. all the luck that went Mark's way, he deserved to be in front, but he needs a bit more luck tonight. And hey, listen, we're not going to patronise Graham Dott. He's backstage now. You can probably hear it. To all intents and purposes, 999 times out of 1,000, Mark Williams lift this trophy. But, Jimmy, that's why we love sport. It's not a pre-recorded DVD of a film where we already know the end and from reading the reviews, it's live and it's real and it involves human beings. Yeah, absolutely. I was 7 new up with Cliff Orban and lost 10-9, but I wasn't playing as well as Mark Williams. You know, Mark mm. Williams is winning frames in one visit. Mm. And, uh, you know, Graham Dot hasn't done a lot wrong, and he's 7-1 down. It's a big difference. Uh, obviously, it's important, I think, to try and build a bit of jeopardy. And I was thinking about that break, Ronnie, earlier after the afternoon session. Mark Williams wouldn't have wanted that. He didn't want to go and have lasagna and chips. He wanted to stay here and get that trophy won. Is there an element that, for Graham Dot, the pressure's off a little? Nobody thinks he's going to win? A bit more of a looser cue? Um, I don't... Yeah, yeah oh, definitely, definitely. He's, I mean, he, he'll be happy to get it past the interval tonight. You know, he'll want to make the score a bit respectable. If he can get to five, he'll, be, he'll feel like he's done a good job. Um, but I don't think he was, you know, he lost today because he was under pressure. He played all right, you know, only mm. seven one down. I mean, <laughs> you know, that's just, you have to get a bit of um, rally on the situation, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, one of my sporting heroes, a baseball player called Yogi Berra, everybody laughed at him, but he once coined the phrase, it ain't over till it's over. And that is a sporting fact to this very day, decades later. So... Mark Williams cannot touch that just yet. But Graham Dot, when we come back after the break, is going to have to feed off this amazing crowd here at the Temple Drone. Sum up every one of these hands clapping together, every cheer of the German audience, and try and give us a night that we will never forget. We're back shortly. It is our last snooker tango in Berlin. Although for Mark Williams, it has been more of a quick waltz through the 2018 German Masters final. Two frames away from being the first ever player to win the German Masters at the Temperdrome twice. Well, elsewhere, the Tour of Dubai is upon us here on Eurosports Tuesday, 9.30 a.m. That's in Eurosport too, but Graham Dart needs to get on his bike right now at the Temperdrome. <laughs> I was looking online today at the World Championship odds, Jimmy, and even just in, from the performance this afternoon, Mark Williams has went from 40 to 1 to 33 to 1. He, he, he's got to keep falling if he plays like this. Uh, yeah, no, there a lot of people will fancy him, you know, the way he's played today, especially he's played like, uh, you know, consistent snooker, scoring heavily, he can beat anyone in this form. Yeah, um, and you said, you know, if you're a player sitting in the world's top eight, if you're sitting, you're one of the best three or four players in the world. You don't want to draw Mark Williams. I think it's amazing. It's 33 to 1. I mean, there's only four, four or five players that can win the World Championships, and he's one of them now, you know, because he's been yeah. playing so consistent. So, oh, incredible. He's got everything in his locker right now, hasn't he, Neil Folds? Not just playing well again, practicing well again. Perspective, the whole lot is coming together this season for him. Yeah, he's also got a lot of ranking points as well on the one-year list, which becomes really important over the next few weeks. He'll be seeded number two going into the next few tournaments behind this man who's number one for the season, yep. Tony O'Sullivan. Yeah, one of the things that we do love about snooker is the players themselves. It's not, they're not separated from the crowd here. They're not separated from us. And, you know, timely reminder, Graham Dot here with family today you know and and it's a week that for him he'll be really proud of his family will be really proud of and he can kick on regardless of what happens tonight 
Yeah, I think you know, like all players are looking for form. They're looking for sort of some some consistency. Graham found it this season. This is a result that's backed it up. So, you know, he'll be looking to have a good run in the next four or five tournaments and possibly have a good run at the World Championships because he's he's got a good record there. You know. Yeah, he's got his daughter uh, uh, picking the balls out of the pockets and putting them back for him. I hope she's getting paid, Jimmy. She should be getting a couple of euros for that at least. No, it's nice to see, you know, um, you know, li listen, they're obviously very proud of him to get into the final. It, you know, he's had a really good week and when he goes back to the snooker club in the next few days, he'll be full of confidence getting ready for the next one. Yeah, what would you say to him, Neil, if I give you this last 20 seconds with him, what would you say? Well, I don't know. I think he's just got to literally take it in the atmosphere tonight and, uh, and see just how things go. Uh, I think we all know he's got it all to do and he probably feels it in his heart himself, but he's got to enjoy moments like this because they don't come around all the time. Okay. Okay, predictions? I'm only joking. That would be a really bad <laughs> question to ask at the moment. But regardless, they love their snooker here. I want to say thank you very much for having Eurosport in your house for the last five days. We've had an absolute buzz. We've really, really loved it. It's a shame it has to come to an end. We'd like to come back here two or three times a year, wouldn't we? Cannot wait. Thank you for tuning in. We don't know whether you're going to see these boys in two frames. We don't know whether there's going to be something special here tonight. But regardless, Rolf's going to bring the players out. I always like to pass over to you in German, Rolf. So let me just say this to you. Ich liebe dich. Sieben zu eins. Das ist ein klarer Zwischenstand. Aber es sind schon höhere Rückstände aufgeholt worden. Herzlich willkommen zur entscheidenden zweiten Session im Finale des German Masters 2018.